you're looking for FX ideas, then this video is perfect for you. I'm gonna be showing you guys five different transitions that you can recreate in your projects. First transition that I'm gonna be showing you guys is a freeze frame transition. So first thing is to duplicate this layer and right click and add a frame hold and go five frames backwards. So one, two, three, four, five and then put this clip right here, split it here, and then go over to opacity, choose this free draw brazier, and then cut your subject. I'll do just a rough cut for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, I suggest you guys spend more time if you have a pro paid project. Uh, if you cut your subject, it'll look something like this. Play with a feather, so we get rid of this rough edges uh, play with the exposure yeah this will do and then nest the clip and add a transform uh, keyframe deposition and put the keyframe at the end of the sequence and then keyframe uh, this position to right or left I'm going to stick with right like that and then uncheck this thing and put the shutter angle to like 180 and there you go guys the next transition that i'm going to be teaching you guys it's not a really transition but it's like a texture but i thought it would be cool to include this in the list so uh it will be like a spotlight effect so first thing we got to add is a blumetri color. Put the amount to minus five and then play with the midpoint. Roundness till it's like circle. And then play with a feather. And the next thing, add a noise. Put the amount it's like 20 put this above uh, the metric color and then uncheck use colors put it like maybe like 25 add a lens distortion i don't know how to pronounce it but put the first option to the max and then add a transform and scale it up so match the footage to finish it we can add a glow and then put this above all the things play with the settings to your footage and we have something like this the next transition that I'm going to be teaching you guys is uh, direction blur. It's really fast, but you can use this in all of your projects. So type in direct direction blur, put this to second clip, uh, put the blur length to like 300. Keyframe the blurness and go forward like uh, three frames and then put the amount to zero. And to spice it up, we can add a brightness and contrast. Put the brightness to like uh, 80, keyframe it, go like two frames forward and put it to zero. And there you go, guys. And the next transition is impact flash. We have to duplicate the second clip Put the transform on that clip that we duplicated. Uh, uncheck the use composition shutter speed. Put the shutter speed to like 180. Keyframe the scale. Go five frames forward. And then put it to like 200. Keyframe the opacity. Uh, put it to like the middle. Keyframe to like zero. And uh, put the blending mode to screen. And there you go, guys. And the last effect that I'm going to be teaching you guys is probably the most important one uh, because you use it everywhere. 
it's a shake uh, we have to create an adjustment layer and it has to be uh, five frames so one two three four five and put it in the middle add a transform to the adjustment layer uh, go to the start of the adjustment layer keyframe the position scale and then uncheck the use composition and put the shutter angle to 180 and then go one frame forward and then put the scale to, to 200 and uh, move the position up to like thousand and then move this keyframe one frame forward go uh, forward uh, two frames keyframe the scale and then uh, go forward one frame and go down the position to like six go off and forward and then reset position and then keyframe the scale right here and then uh, do like 100 we can actually highlight all of this and then auto bezier so to smooth it up and to add some extra detail we can add a flash to it so add brightness and contrast keyframe the brightness put it to like 70 go back to frames zero and then go to frames put it to zero there we go guys and it's cool what's cool we can actually duplicate it and put it the rest of the fx so for example we can add it right here and this look insanely good if you like the transition that i teach you guys in this video we can actually check out the link down below i created a pack that includes hella of transitions assets plus um textures that you can just drag and drop and get those effects in a second so if you want to get some nice transition and actually support me check the link in the description make sure you subscribe my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one